Hi everyone. So, a while ago, I shown you how to build your own PC, but what I didn't show you was how to re well, how to install Windows. So, I'm going to show you that now. So, the first thing I need to mention is that there are a couple of ways of doing this, and I'm just going to show you one way of several. The way I'm going to do it is by using uh, a USB media tool from Microsoft. And um, what I've done is I've got the tool, I've downloaded uh, what's called an ISO, and I've downloaded it onto a USB stick. So the USB stick was formatted to NTFS, and um, yeah, and so I've got all the installation media necessary. It's all on one USB, and uh, this is good because it's much faster off USB than it is for a CD or a DVD. And um, yeah, so let's start. The first thing you need to do is press delete or F12. Uh, probably delete when your PC starts up and you're going to BIOS and this is my BIOS here so um, if you go to um, standard CMO, CMOS setup utility yours might look slightly different um, and just check that your drives are showing up and in my case they are so press ESC then go to advanced BIOS features and then down here you should see a priority um, so change the priority of your USB drive let's press plus how does it work here um, use up or down to select device then plus or minus to move it up or down so plus there we go so I've got my uh, USB drive at the top now so that's good I'll just exit there um, first boot should be um, should be the hard disk just check so hard disk CD ROM I haven't got a CD ROM so that should be nothing disabled this should be disabled too right so I've sorted the priority and then first boot device should be hard disk no second or no third so let's just check the priority yeah Lexar jump drive that's my USB stick and then save and exit yes and now it should automatically boot from the USB so of course plug the USB in now and it should um, boot straight from USB so let's see cameras having a really hard time focusing okay it does appear to be um, booting from USB Okay, let's just move the camera slightly. So here we go. It's saying language to install. Uh, for me, that's the United Kingdom. Time and currency, United Kingdom. Keyboard input, United Kingdom. So I'll press next on that. And then um, install now. And it says setup is, in, is starting. So activate Windows, put your product key in here. I don't actually have mine at the moment, so I'm going to say I don't have it. Select the operating system you want to install. Now you've got to have the correct one because um, otherwise your CD key won't work. You know your serial number. Um, so if you choose the wrong one, it will mess things up. So choose the one that's uh, appropriate for your serial number. For me, it's Windows 10 Pro. So I'll choose Windows 10 Pro and then click Next. and then license agreement accept then I'm going to go to custom and now you'll see that um, you may have partitions uh, drives and partitions so um, let me have a quick look here what I'm going to do now in my case drive 0 is the um, the second hard drive I don't know why it says drive 0 but for me that's the second hard drive and drive 1 is the primary hard drive so this is the SSD and this is the ordinary uh, SATA um, drive so this is the one I want so drive 1 partition 1 so I'm going to um, I'm going to delete that
partition 2, uh, well, what's now 1, I'm going to delete that too. Be very careful with this if you've got anything on these hard drives because this of course clears it off completely. And then delete that one. So I'm left with drive 0. Um, this is my 1 terabyte hard drive, so free space 132. So I don't want to do anything with that because I've got stuff on that drive. But this is the one I want to install it on. So 120 gig, that's about right. So I'll click new. And then I want this to be the maximum it can be, which I assume that is the maximum. So to ensure that blah blah blah, Windows might create additional partitions. Yeah, okay. Ah, and it's done. So, um, system reserved, partition 2. So, this is the one I want, so I'll click next. And then it says copying files, etc. Copying files will be quick because you've got it on USB. And then the rest of these take a bit longer. So, um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit and then I'll be back uh, when this is about 99% or 100% or whatever and then we'll carry on. Okay so it's just restarted. Um, if it does this restarting thing, uh, which it does a lot of the time, it sometimes has problems uh, if you leave the USB stick in uh, it will try and reinstall again and again and again so if this happens just unplug the USB uh, USB stick and restart anyway um, let's see what it does I think it will have to finish off the installation for some reason my camera is really struggling to focus on the screen so it says it's getting ready for um, I don't know, about five minutes or so. Okay, so the PC's just turned off. And it's restarting again. And what's it saying this time? saying just a moment alright so let's start with region, is this correct? United Kingdom, yeah that's correct is this the right keyboard? yes that's correct do you want to add a second keyboard? no Alright, you're connected now. I'll check for any updates. I think at this point it might ask you for your Wi Fi uh, details if you've, you know, if you've not used Ethernet. How would you like to set up? Set up a personal use or organization. I'm going to set up a personal use. Sign in with Microsoft. Just a moment, set up a pin, a password is insecure as it can easily be guessed or stolen, blah 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 blah. Uh, I'll do that later. Make Cortana your personal assistant, blah blah blah, yes. Get location based experiences, blah 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 blah, I don't really care about that. Diagnostics, yes. Relevant ads. I don't want ads from Windows since I'm paying for it. Speech recognition, yeah, okay. To diagnostic data, okay. Hi. 
We're getting everything ready for you. This might take several minutes. Don't turn off your PC. While it's doing that, I'll just show you what I'm drinking. It's called Blonde Witch. The premium light refreshing ale with a sweet citrus dry finish. And it's brewed by Morehouse's Brewery in Burnley from Lancashire in England. Hmm. I actually quite like it too. Anyway. So it's worked and it's all on. So to get messages from another device, sorry, from your other device, let me know whether you trust this device. What other device? Uh, yeah, trust. Help us protect your info. From your account, blah blah blah. Would you like to receive your code? Well, I don't actually have my phone with me at the minute, so. Yeah, um. Get rid of that. Um. So, we need to install the drivers. I assumed they'd install themselves actually, but obviously not. Let's have a look. I'll rename the PC to start with. Anthony PC. Restart later. Right, yeah, so drivers. Let's have a look at the device manager, see what it's doing. It's a bit unusual that it didn't do this on its own because usually it does. Okay, it's downloading the drivers, the display adapters. Um Sometimes you'll need to um, fiddle with other adapters as well, the network adapters. Um, pretty much everything else should install itself. So sometimes network and sound are the issues, but um, yeah, that's all there is to it pretty much. And then you just install your programs. Um, I particularly want to uh, install the drivers for graphics because I've got two monitors. And. Um, this one's been a little bit silly at the minute, there's a massive border around it. But when it's installed properly, there won't be a border. But basically now you just make sure you've got all your drivers installed. So you go through here, so I'll just show you again how I did this. I pressed Windows and X, and then I went to Device Manager. And then you can just click on here. If, if they've got um, an exclamation mark, then it needs your attention. Um, if not, then um, it's best just to update them anyway, or make sure they're updated. Um, Sometimes Windows Update will do it automatically, but for whatever reason it didn't in this video. Alright, so um, hopefully this has helped you, and um, thanks for watching. Bye!